banking and one of them is Transport Corporation of India. Good numbers. The revenue growth was 30%. Margins expanded to 11.5%. And it's the company's Seaways division that really stood out this time with a strong operational performance. We have Vineet Agarwal, who's the Managing Director at Transport Corporation of India, who joins us now to talk about that. Vineet, good morning. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, earlier you had targeted a 10 to 15% overall revenue growth in FY23. Now with Q1 behind us and a good 30% growth that you've clocked in in this quarter, uh, would you look to scale up that guidance? And can you give us a little more qualitative uh, perspective to how business is currently? Uh, thank you and good morning. It's great to be here. Uh, so, you know, I think the 10 to 15% guidance is look, looking at the entire year. Um, as we know, in the last uh, last year, first quarter, there was clearly the, the second wave was going on and that impacted uh, growth. Uh, also, we're going to come off with a higher base in the next three quarters. Uh, also, with uh, inflation as well as um, some amount of uh, pressure in the system, we think that towards the end of the year, things might slow down a little bit. Uh, and also, we are seeing uh, the talks of a global recession. So if that happens, that will definitely have some impact on the Indian market. So looking at all of that, uh, we are feeling that the 10 to 15 percent uh, is, a, is a good number to hang on to right now. Okay. Uh, perhaps in quarter two, quarter three, we could take another call at that. Okay. Uh, overall, what we are seeing is that the festival season stocking has started and uh, there is movement that's happening across the country, uh, whether it is by road, rail or sea. And uh, it, whether it is in the textile sector, whether it is in some of the consumable sectors. Um, and uh, certainly in all the areas, we are seeing that there is a, there is a certain amount of pent up demand and uh, that should possibly start coming out uh, we can see that very clearly in the automotive sector uh, and that should all start coming out closer to the festival season. Vinith, margins are lower, right? In the freight segment, margins are down 80 basis points sequentially. In the supply chain segment, margins are down 170 basis points uh, Q and Q. Could you tell us what happened and what's the outlook? Yeah, typically the quarter four is the best quarter for us uh, in terms of margins as well. Um, but uh, because you have a higher volume growth as well. Uh, what we've seen is that there is some impact of fuel, but that is a pass-through for us. And that pass-through will happen uh, subsequently because there's a little bit of a lag when we do the pass-through for fuel increases. Uh, so I don't, I'm not uh, unduly concerned about the slight drop in margins. I think they will all catch up in the next uh, few quarters. So just coming back to that point you said earlier that you're holding on to your 10 to 15% revenue growth for now. But there are challenges that are emerging, right, because perhaps of an impending recession. Uh, you operate in three segments, freight, supply chain and seaways. Where do you see uh, maximum pressure or perhaps a challenge if things go all right? Uh, see, what will happen is that uh, once there is a lower demand in the system, uh, things start to start slowing down. For example, in the seaways business, uh, a lot of the movement that has happened is on the coastal waters of India. Uh, though that has also reflected some amount of uh, value increases because of uh, fuel prices or just the global prices have got up. Uh, we've also made some trips to some neighboring countries like Myanmar, etc. And those rates have also started to come down. So clearly the, the value growth will start coming down, but perhaps not so much the volume growth. Uh, so this is just an example, but there could be some segments. For example, we do warehousing for FMCG companies. And if there is a little bit slowdown there, we'll see that impact. Uh, but overall, we are seeing uh, that uh, it is quite positive still for the next uh, two quarters. Mm. Vineet, uh, will margins move up from here or uh, stay here or uh, there is uh, generally a downward pressure? What's your sense for the full year? Uh, so I think we uh, are at uh, unusual levels of margins because of the seaways business where we have seen that uh, the growth uh, because of the value growth uh, has been exceptional. And I think uh, it will possibly retain at this level. I don't expect it to really go down substantially or I don't expect it to go up either. Okay, Vineet, it was a pleasure speaking with you. A very good set of numbers. Congratulations on that and all the best for the future. These are challenging times, but uh, I'm sure you, know, you have your ways out.